for the next video on NMOS transistor with resistive load where we are going to do a solve problem based on the IV characteristics of NMOS transistor which was asked in GATE 2014 ECE section. The problem statement says that for the MOSFET M1 shown in the figure assumes to have a W by L ratio of 2, VDD the supply voltage is also 2 volts, mu and C ox is equal to 100 micrometer per volt squared and threshold voltage VTH is equal to 0.5 volt. So we need to find out the input voltage at which the transistor M1 switches from its saturation region to linear region. So one thing we should understand that we have an NMOS transistor along with a resistive load. So in this case, initially, the M1 transistor will be in saturation region. So the working principle of NMOS transistor or an inverter with resistive load is clearly given with the LT spy simulation in a separate video. The video link is shared in the description box below and also on the I button. So what is the major requirement for this particular problem is we need to identify the input voltage at which the transistor is switching off from the saturation region to linear region. So for that, let us first consider the saturation region drain current equation because initially the transistor is operating in saturation region. After considering the drain current equation at saturation region, I have just substituted the given values where mu and C ox was 100 micrometer, W by L ratio was 2, and we don't know the gate to source input voltage. Instead, VTH was given, but we don't know VGS minus VTH because VGS is not given. So therefore, let us do one more small analysis where the hint that is given initially is the transistor M1 is operating in saturation region. So we know very well about the voltage conditions for a transistor to operate in saturation region where the condition is VDS should be greater than or equal to VGS minus VTH. So therefore, the NMOS is operating in saturation region at VDS equal to VGS minus VTH. Let us consider. Then we know that VDS for an NMOS transistor is approximately equivalent to V out because we write it as VD minus VS where the source of NMOS is completely grounded and the drain of NMOS is connected to the output terminal. So therefore, we can write the voltage at the drain terminal as equivalent to the output voltage. So therefore, here my VDS is equal to V out. So therefore, I change my drain current equation as I will just cancel out the common terms here so that I can simplify. So this becomes 100 into 10 to the power minus 6 will become as 10 to the power minus 4 into V out square. Let this be equation 1. By Kirchhoff's voltage law or by KVL, we know that the total voltage around a loop is going to be equal to the sum of all the voltage drops within the same loop. So therefore, if we are considering this particular circuit with one NMOS transistor along with a resistive load, we can write the equation as VDD is equal to IDS into R, where that R is equal to 10 kilo ohms, so we can write it straight away as 10 kilo ohms, plus V out. So till this, if we measure KVL, we get this equation and let us just name this equation as equation number 2. So now we need to obtain what is this V out so that we can get our input voltage for the particular transistor to enter into linear region. So let us do a small analysis here. So we have it in our hand 2 because our VDD is given as 2 volts and IDS we know that it is 10 to the power minus 4 into V out square and into 10 into 10 to the power 3 for 1 kilo ohm 
plus b out. So let us write this in bracket. So this we have now. So now just bring all the terms together. So 10 to the power minus 4. Here we have 10 to the power 4. So these terms gets cancelled. So I get v out square plus v out. So therefore this we can rewrite it as v out square plus v out minus 2 equal to 0. Now this equation is similar to the equation of ax squared plus bx plus c. And if we have such an equation, we can write the solution for the corresponding equation as x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac by 2a. So using this approach, we are going to estimate the output voltage value here. Comparing the general equation terms, we have here a equal to 1 b equal to 1 and c equal to minus 2. So substituting this in the solution, we'll be having v out is equal to minus 1 plus or minus because we have minus b, b squared. So it should be 1 plus 4ac. It should be 8 by 2a. So this is going to be 2. So therefore, if we try to simplify this, we'll be having minus 1 plus or minus 3 by 2. So this is going to give us two solutions. One is minus 1 plus 3 by 2, which is equal to 1. And the other one will be minus 1 minus 3 by 2, which is minus 4 by 2 minus 2. And now, the output voltage cannot be negative for an NMOS transistor. So therefore, we choose the positive value here for the output voltage where V out is going to be 1 volt. Now our ultimate objective is to find out the input voltage at which the transistor M1 is going to switch from saturation region to linear region. So therefore, it is very simple to find out the input voltage once we have this V out because initially we know that V out we have obtained from VDS equal to VGS minus VTH. So now we have just replaced this VDS as only V out. So now we have this V out and the Threshold voltage VTH is also given. So from this, it is easy for us to estimate the gate to source voltage, which is the input voltage for the M1 transistor, which will be V out plus VTH. So V out is 1 volt. So 1 plus 0.5, which is going to be 1.5 volt as the input voltage for the transistor to enter into the linear region. Hope you all might have got an idea on how to proceed a gate problem based on NMOS transistor's IV characteristics. We will continue to solve some more gate problems related to NMOS transistor. Until then, stay tuned, stay safe. Thank you all for watching this video through Electronics Insight channel.